I forgot to do this in the real intro, so here's intro V2, but it comes before V1. Don't ask about it. There's a Hyperium and a Level Hud sale. Uh, Hyperium stuff is 50% off, Level Hud's 30% off. Links in the description. Um, hey guys, it's Gear, and before the video starts, go subscribe to my new Fortnite channel. I don't know if I'm gonna actually upload on it, but in the rare case that I decide that I'm actually gonna upload, like now, and I wanna play the Fortnite, aka the game that I suck at because everyone on it's an actual gamer and, you know, could actual, like, you know, control their hands in a way that allows them to shoot and stuff, right? That kind of deal. You should go subscribe to it. But today I'm talking about why I code mods. And if you're wondering about mods, I code, I have a, I have a link to all the analytics for them. So those are basically all the big ones. Oh, what a, that, what a god. Literally god bridging. All right, do this, kids. Oh, he's a KV3. All right, this dude won, but I'm gonna stab him. Thank you. He died. He died with my loot. Yep. Never mind. Oh dang. That's a lot of pearls. All right, let's see. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. You got nothing on me. But I code Minecraft mods because it's fun, right? A lot of the time, you know, when you when you code, where it's going goes to plan. Like your Minecraft idea, uh, you have this idea, and you're like, what if I try to do this? So you set out and do it. And you start, and you're like, you know what? This is totally possible. And then you pursue it. Please. Thank you very much. And then after pursuing it, you're like, you know what? I think people would love this. So you release it on the internet, and next thing you know, you have hundreds of thousands of people using your mods every month. Last time I checked, it was Cloudflare said it's like 300k. I think it's probably slightly under that, but Cloudflare is pretty good at doing the analytics for unique people. So, yeah. And I also quote them because it improves people's experience. Like Nick Hider, it makes the game much more playable for streamers and recorders and people. It just makes it overall nicer. So you're nicked, right? But it just shows your real name as it. And it's like absolutely fantastic. I'm just gonna... I don't know, do I, do I not have a bow? I do. I'm gonna play with our food before we kill him here a little bit. Oh, he's dead. But yeah, you uh, I'll talk about improving people's experience in the next game. What do I mean when I say improving people's experience? What I mean is that you, you can either like directly improve it through things like Performia, which increase FPS in the game, reduce memory usage, so that people can just have a better experience of the game. Let's say they have a they have a lightweight laptop and they can only get 30 FPS. With Performia, they could see up to like 60 FPS pretty easily. I have a dev who uses integrated graphics. He tested it on his Mac. Instead of getting 30 FPS, he was getting about 75 in the lobbies. So it can make a pretty big difference. And then you can also increase people's experience with like add-on mods like level head hello please don't kill me i'm trying to talk how rude of you i wasn't expecting it and you killed me all right i don't want to fight that dude and see now his strength as well oh yeah please no please dude dude power five not okay um um all right now that we're blocked off and we're gonna be immediately killed by this person you have the mods like Level Hood and Chroma that add something that make the game more fun to someone. Or they make the game like, you, you have a better experience, right? Like better user, better quality of the game. Why, why are all these people full diamond except for me? Um, I'm being discriminated upon. What's this health? Probably full, right? Eh, pretty much full. Eh, 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 no, I'm dead, alright. By the way, if you made it this far, Performia is coming to beta in the non-Forge version because that's the version that's gonna have the most increase in performance because I don't have to be worried about breaking other people's code. It, it's gonna be good, trust me. What, are you already so stacked? Well, I killed you. I want a medal. I want a medal of honor for that. Dang, that's a big level head. Oh, it's... Oh, he's back from vacation. I remember I'm talking about that in the Hyperion Discord. Welcome back to the Hypixel Zoo, my friend. I hope we're having a debt. Oh, he's gone. I thought I had a friend there for a second. But, guess not. Yeah, so, Performia is done. Or not done, beta -ing. And then once it's done, it's gonna be ported to all versions and everything. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna make sure that it, it helps. Because that's one of the big projects, like... I'm starting to phase out because I have to deal with college and senior year and things like that. I don't know how active I am, but I really want to get that done. And if I can get it, like, if I can get mostly done before my surgery, I should be able to finish it, like, before, I'm hoping, before October. Right? That or uh, Cubixy has been helping me a lot. If he can just, like, put the finishing touches on it, like, make a few GUIs kind of deal. 
right? Because the core backend functionality is pretty much there. It's just about like compatibility for the Forge version because, you know, some mods didn't like it. Oh. Dude, please, please run at me. I dare you. Nope. Oh, wow. I had my website's, um, my website open, the console, right? Like in the Linux thing. And I just saw it restart and I was like, whoa, what just happened? Turns out just restarting. Nothing to be uh, worried about. Uh, that dude has strength though. That is something to be worried about. Nerf. Nerf. All right, I'm dead. All right, so you may be asking, how can I get into coding if I wanted to get it? And the answer is, you gotta do it. You don't actually know how to code, right? People are thinking that they know how to code is like not actually true. No one knows how to code. You just know, need to know how to Google. That's all you need to know how to do. Because someone else probably had to do the thing before you and probably put it on the internet on something called Stack Overflow. It's like the big uh, Wikipedia of like code, right? You can like ask your question, like literally everything's there. Like everything you could ever need. Like, like how to turn a cat into a dog via like a neural network, right? Like that kind of stuff is on a, uh, is on Stack Overflow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So you Google like, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I code a Minecraft Forge mod? There are plenty of great tutorials on the internet that you can learn from. And if you believe in yourself and just put the time in, like you can get, anyone can code. Um, I'm pretty, pretty firm believer that like literally anyone can code. Like there are 13 year olds in the Hyperium um, development team who code really well. And it's just cause they've been putting in the time, right? It's like, oh, if you want to code in college, that's one thing, right? But if you really want to be good at it, you just got to put in the time. The reason why the people who started coding before college are so good at it is because they've just put in the hours, right? They developed the thought process and the problem solving skills just by doing it, right? Because the more you do, the more you get better at it. That's the last guy. Or, like, you, you get exposed to new things, but I probably didn't hear me, but... You, you find new things, and you fix them. That was another episode of Skier talking to his computer by himself past midnight. Please, please subscribe and end my misery. I want 100k. Roll the outro.